also want to warn you about falling for a scammer. Oh yeah, with an increase in online dating, this is an important warning. Tiffany Schultz from the Better Business Bureau is joining us this morning to talk a little bit more about it. Good morning. Good morning. So I think that there might be this idea out there that this isn't very common because we don't hear about it. But is that because of the stigma, the embarrassment behind admitting you fell for something like this? Correct, absolutely. Uh, romance scam fraud is so underreported with uh, uh, your local BBB. Um, local and nationally. Uh, we have about 600 reports with romance scam fr fraud. However, that number is typically underreported because of the embarrassment that comes along with it. Uh, the average romance victim um, is out about $2,600, wow. which is seven times more than any type of fraud wow. that's out there. Uh, yeah, according to the FTC, we, the Americans lost $143 million, and that's what's reported. Right, right. that's a crazy amount of money Yeah, um, through online fraud alone, yeah. online romance fraud. Are these scammers targeting anyone in particular, any age group, women, men, or is it running the gamut here? It's a variety, um, you know, equal between yeah. women and men. Typically, it hits a little bit higher um, age group, 40s and above, um, you know, you're, in, when you're in your 40s, 50s, you know, you may have been through um, relationships in the past mm -hmm. and you're just so excited to enter a new relationship. So everything that is wrong in the relationship, all those red flags that are out there are not being seen mm -hmm. typically until it's too late. Um, and aside from just the embarrassment of this happening, you could actually be held liable. There could be consequences for the illegal activity you're taking part in without even knowing it, right? Absolutely. Uh, 20 to 30 percent of romance scam um, victims turn into money mules and a money mule is a person who is a middleman to launder money to transport money um, illegal money and goods sometimes drugs uh, between other victims and other fraudsters so you could land in jail and you could be participating in illicit activity that you don't even know about wow. what do we do about yeah. this I mean I, this is people taking advantage of you know vulnerable emotions here right absolutely the first thing that you want to do is report it to bbb.org slash scam tracker um, and then contact your local police department as well. Uh, but so many times that these uh, money mules and these scammers who are typically behind a profile in Nigeria, uh, mm. they can't be caught because of their sophisticated tactics that mm -hmm. they use to uh, get the victim involved in um, sometimes illegal activity. And we briefly uh, want to take a look at some resources for folks that they can take advantage of if this happens to them. You can, Like you mentioned, you can report it to the BBB.org, report it to the Federal Trade Commission, and there's counseling available too if this happens to you because as you can imagine, this is really tough on your psyche. Right. There's a lot of um, resources out there, um, but the first thing to do is to report it to BBB.org and contact your local police department so that you, know, you can be one less victim. All right, mm -hmm. Tiffany, thank you so much for coming yeah, on and talking about this. Thank you for having me today. Important stuff. Yes. All right, your time right now is almost 545, and after today's mild temperatures,